Dalk Indoor Sports Center, first day of spring football practice. Steve Baker, head coach, Chuck Martin, and coach, uh, it's been since the day after Christmas these guys got on the football field. Looked like a pretty good practice out here. Yeah, we're, we're excited to be back out here. We've been looking for this day for uh, probably since two days after Christmas. We want to be back out here. Obviously, with the way the season ended, um, going on a nice run and then playing really well in the bowl game and leaving with a bad taste in your mouth with, with a tough loss in the bowl game. Uh, it's fun to coach here right now. It's fun to be the head coach of Miami. we got a lot of a lot of really talented kids that really love to play football and uh, practice is becoming pretty fun around here. It looked to me that the, the bowl practices paid off when they took the field here today. The young guys started to really just step in. There was no lag and you had to stop and teach guys stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely very helpful because, you know, where you lose your seniors, not that we lost a ton, but there's some spots where you lose some seniors and a lot of the young guys because they got you know, those 10 to 15 practices in and got a chance to run our offense again and get off scout team, I think certainly benefited. And then the other big piece for them is we have kids that like football. They've spent a lot of time with the older guys. They've been spent a lot of time watching tape. They've been a lot of time asking a lot of questions about their position. So I think the bowl practices, obviously, everybody knows how important those are, and we lived it this year. And then I just think who our kids are. They, I come in here on Saturday morning, there's a bunch of kids in here working out, and I don't even know what they're doing. So it, it's been pretty pretty awesome offseason for Miami football. As the battles start to progress here in spring. Obviously, you lose uh, two pretty good DNs. We know there's battles there. What are some of the other battles you're looking at? Yeah, I just I, I, I just think there, there's a ton, right? We just have a good enough depth now. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's six corners that can play. Is anybody going to beat out Heath Harding? No, but DeAndre Daniels better have a good spring, a good fall. I think there's four other corners that are chopping the bit. There's, there's you know, Merrimi and Darius Thompson and Josh Allen are fighting for playing time at safety. Uh, Miles Reed wants to get on the field at, at linebacker. Sam Conley wants to get more playing time at linebacker. Tons of D linemen are going to play, but there's tons of guys up there, obviously, with, with, with losing some DNs. you got a free-for-all right there with a bunch of guys that have played some but have never been the guy and right. we need some some of those kids to step up then you know slew of old linemen you know we got a bunch of quarterbacks that can play we got four really good tailbacks i got six or seven tight ends so there finally we have legitimate competition at miami you're always trying right. to create as a coach and you're going to try to create it whether it's there or not and put kids yeah. in but we kids don't need me to say, listen, if you don't get it done, there's a guy behind you that probably can. We, we've right. built enough depth here, and, and that, that's going to help us get, get better every day. You know, you have three guys here that uh, are playing their first college football, and we were kind of talking off the side. Uh, that's a big help for those true freshmen able to get here in the spring. One of them well, basically a junior in, in college right now. Yes. Yeah, no, we t you know, two young quarterbacks uh, and then a defensive tackle, and uh, awesome to see them out here. They've had a good offseason, uh, and it's a you know, you have to be mature to make the decision to come early. It's not for every kid, but for the right kid, it's, it is a huge benefit. And they're out there. They just got their first college football practice out of the way, and everybody else is taking high school classes. So right. um, the, all three of them, Elijah and, and Dom and Jax, have worked really hard and have spent a lot of time. And we have older kids now that understand our systems, and they're further ahead than you would think just because, you know, Dom and, Dom and Jax have spent a ton of time with Gus and Jordan and Billy and learning mm -hmm. learning our offense. So they, they did a pretty good job out here for first day high school seniors yeah okay a big picture over the next month or so until the spring showcase what are you looking as a team to accomplish to get ready for fall uh, we talked a little bit today you know we want to carry forward experience from last year we want to carry forward confidence kids made plays last year and now they're more confident than they were this time last year we want to carry forward knowledge but basically 2016 is over we got to become the 2017 Miami Redhawks everybody just thinks you know, companies make money one year and don't make money the next year right. because they get complacent, they get fat and happy, and they think it's going to just happen. It doesn't just happen, particularly in Division One athletics. So we got to we got to see who we're going to become and start. To, we talk about today who we, who's a 2000 JT's been the guy, right? You exactly. know, Buke was a big time leader on offense in a quiet way. Austin Gearing has been one of our best. You know, I mean, who's going to start to fill in those roles of? And then what's what's going to be? When you, when you come hang out with my foot, what are they going to be like? Right. What's going to be their MO? You know, and that's year to year and personalities and who's going to step to the forefront. Um, so th those are the big things. And then, you know, how hard are we going to compete and how much are we going to work on our individual games? That's what spring's about. Yeah, it's about the team, but it's about a bunch of kids coming out here and competing. We don't have games. We don't have roles yet. It's not like you're going to scout team or you're the backup or you're the special teams guy. Right. Hey, this is, spring's a little bit time to be selfish and, and 
hone your game in and try to get as big a piece of the pie for next fall as you can. And if everybody does that and really works hard on their game, well, we're going to become a lot better football team, and we'll figure out the roles in the fall. Coach, thanks. Thank you.